The Admin Setup Guide includes a helpful Add Product button. By selecting, you'll be directed to a new page where you can enter your product details. Every product needs a title, as this is how customers will identify it. Be sure to make it clear and descriptive. Below the title field, you'll find the description area where you can provide additional details about your product, like its features and any other information that may help customers make a purchase decision. Sidekit can also help you write product descriptions. Just provide it with prompts about your product features, such as the material, craftsmanship, and intended use. Whether you're looking for a straightforward description or something with a bit more character, it will generate the right content for you. Be sure to review the content and feel free to edit or add your own details to make it more personal. Now, let's add some visuals. In the media section, you can upload images of your product. High quality images are best because they allow customers to see exactly what they're buying, which can increase the likelihood of a purchase. You can also upload multiple images and arrange them in your preferred order. Make sure your primary product images clearly represent what you're selling, as these visuals can successfully communicate your product's value across different languages. Moving on to the pricing section. This is where you'll enter the price of your product. If you want to offer a discount, you can also set a compare at price. Below the pricing details, you'll find the inventory and shipping section. In the inventory section, you can monitor product levels to prevent selling items that are out of stock. You can also manage how many units are available at each physical store location. Here's a quick overview on managing your inventory. Unavailable are unsellable for various reasons. Committed are items reserved for pending orders. Available is the number of sellable items. And on hand is your total inventory. If you check the Track Quantities box, Shopify automatically updates your inventory with each sale and marks products as sold out when stock reaches zero. If you leave this box unchecked, sales can continue even if inventory goes into the negative since Shopify won't check if there's enough product to fulfill orders. To set up inventory tracking, go to the product, select Track Quantity, decide if you want to continue selling when out of stock, Enter quantities for each location and save your changes. If you're shipping a product, remember to check the This is a physical product box and enter the shipping weight to ensure accurate cost calculations. Now, let's discuss variants. Variants represent different options of the same core product. If your product is available in different options, such as colors or sizes, you should use variants rather than creating separate product listings. Navigate to the Variants section to add options like Color and then list the specific choices. This helps keep your product page organized and allows customers to select the exact variant they want. Now, you may have noticed the section for Meta Fields. Think of Meta Fields as additional information you can include about your product beyond the standard options. For example, if you're selling electronics, you might add a meta field for warranty information or power output. Depending on the category you select for your product, Shopify will provide suggested meta fields to help get started. Additionally, users have the flexibility to add more meta fields as they see fit. Finally, if you have a product that's similar to one you've already created, you can easily duplicate it. This feature saves you time by copying all the existing information and allowing you to make the necessary adjustments for the new product. This foundational knowledge will help you build your product catalog and prepare your online store for business. Keep in mind that you have the ability to import CSV files and that you can also return to edit the product details whenever needed.